welcome back to my channel everyone. For this time, we will be talking about solving problems involving circles. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video tutorial. For week 5, you need to review the following topics on week 3 and week 4. So to start with, let's solve these problems which are relative to the problems that is written in the evaluation part of your modules. Let's start with this problem. Using the figure below, which of the following is an external second segment of circle V? So this one is circle V. Which of the following lines or line segment is the external second segment? So when we say second, it's a line that intersect the circle at exactly two points. So is this the line that intersect the circle at two points? No. So it, it intersect the circle at exactly one point. So that is a tangent line. So this line intersect the circle at two points. So this is a second line. Now when we say external, so it is the outside part of the second. So this is the inside part because it is located inside the circle. This part here is the external second segment. So segment R A. Or you can name that one as segment A R. Now for number two, an arc of a circle measures 60 degrees. If the radius of the circle is 4 centimeters, what is the length of the arc? To solve that one, let's draw our problem. So we have a circle, an arc of a circle measures 60 degrees. So if this is our circle, then there is an arc that measures 60 degrees. Example, arc VC measures 60 degrees. If the radius of the circle is 4 centimeters, radius of the circle is 4 centimeters, what is the length of the arc? So this arc here, we will be solving its length. So arc length formula is this one. Arc length is equal to 2 pi r times uh, measure of the arc in degrees over 360. So let's substitute the following. Arc length of VC is equal to 2 substitute pi as 3.14 The radius is 4 centimeters, so that's 4, and substitute the angle, which uh, the measure of the arc, which is 60 degrees, or you can cancel out degrees, over 360. Multiply everything, you will get approximately 4.19 Number 3 In circle C at the right what is the measure of angle VRC if the measure of arc VC is equal to 100 degrees So what is the measure of angle or central angle VRC if the measure of this arc is 100 degrees. So, as we all know, the theorem states that the measure of the central angle is equal to its intercepted arc. So, if the intercepted arc is 100 degrees, then the measure of the central angle is also 100 degrees. So, measure of angle VRC is equal to 100 degrees. For number 4, what is the sum of the measures of the central angles of a circle with no common interior points? The answer for that one is 360 degrees. And how did we do that one? Assuming this one is our circle and we have 
these central angles. This one measures because it is a right angle, it measures 90 degrees. And also, this one is a right angle, this one is also a right angle, this one also is a right angle. So, there are 490 degrees. 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90 is equal to 360 degrees. Number 5. The angle is straight. If an inscribed angle of a circle intercepts a blank. So first let's review the types of angles. This one is an acute angle that measures between 0 to 90 degrees. This angle is a right angle because because it measures 90 degrees. This angle is an example of obtuse angle because it measures between 90 degrees to 180 degrees. This angle measures 180 degrees. So this is an example of a straight angle. How about an angle that is An angle that measures between 180 to 360 degrees that is called reflexive angle. So this one is the straight angle. If this angle intercept a circle, then the intercepted arc is now called a semicircle. Because it intercepts the arc at 180 degrees. Number 6. At a given point on the circle, how many line or lines can be drawn that is tangent to the circle? If you can still remember the theorem that is being stated from the previous weeks, wherein there can only be one tangent line that can be drawn on a certain point of the circle. So if example, this is the point, there is only one tangent line that can be drawn there. So if you have another tangent line that is almost the same, then the point of tangency is not the same with the other tangent. So, the answer for this one is 1. Number 7. In circle V on the right, what is the measure of angle ERA if the measure of angle EVA is equal to 70 degrees? So, the question is, what's the measure of this angle? So, what's the measure of this angle if the measure of this angle is 70 degrees? So, that's just easy. Look at angle ERA. It intercepts this arc. So, first let's know what is the measure of this arc. The measure of this arc is the same with its central angle. So, if the central angle is 70, then the measure of this arc is also 70 degrees. Now, if we know this intercepted arc is 70 degrees, then the angle that intercept this arc measures half of it. So what is one half of 70? That is 35 degrees. So again, we just divide 70 with 2 and that will be the result 
of the angle. For number 8, in the circle given, what is the measure of angle AER, this angle, if arc VAR is a semicircle and measure of angle VEA is 80 degrees? So, let's solve for this angle. Knowing that this, mesh, this one measures a semicircle and a semicircle is 180 degrees so if this one is 180 degrees and this one is 80 degrees then what is left will be solved this way so 180 degrees minus this part which is 80 degrees the answer will be 100 degrees number nine in the circle given if the measure of arc ER is 40 degrees and its radius is 3 centimeters. What is the measure of its central angle EVR? So, again, if you can still remember the theorem, the measure of the central angle is equal to its intercepted arc. If the intercepted arc is 40 degrees, then the measure of the central angle is the same 40 degrees for number 10 if the measure of the central angle is 85 degrees and you are looking for the measure of its inscribed angle then that is solved in this way so first know that the measure of this intercepted arc is the same with the central angle so that's 85 degrees to solve for the inscribed angle that is just equal to one half of 85 so 85 over 2 the answer is 42.5 degrees so this inscribed angle measures 42.5 degrees.